Jill, our uh, favorite veterinarian, is going to talk to us about having a safe Halloween for our pets. Oh, you look very nice, Jill. <laughs> you know, this is my absolute favorite holiday of the year. I could care less about any of the others. What better holiday to dress up and eat chocolate? Yeah, right? you know, any excuse works for me there. So, uh, in what way should we be concer concerned about our pets uh, with Halloween? Yeah, you know, especially all these great costumes coming out now. Look at the variety. Look at our little goat. He has a little cape on. Oh, you know, you want to make sure you're Elvis using goat. safe. Look at this. This is not safe for this goat, but we wanted to use it anyway because he looks so cute. And then, of course, you've got the little hats and wings. I just want to point out, these little hats have wires in them, and your pet can chew on them. So you need to be careful. Make sure to use a pet-friendly costume. And this stuff, not good for bellies. So mm. make sure to check that out when you're buying a costume for your pet. Okay. Uh, how about the uh, food that we're likely to have around the house this time of year? I mean, I, is, I, I hear every year chocolate is not good for dogs. Not is, good. How true is that? Right, that's very true. Chocolate's not good for your pets. Corn candy, anything with sugar. Xylitol, a lot of people give their kids gum, and xylitol is very toxic to pets. So you want to make sure to keep the candy trays up, away from your kids, all the cakes and cookies that you bake. Rudder is a counter surfer, as we all know, so you want to keep your chocolate chip cookies away from your pets. Counter surfer, I like that. Oh, that's yeah, good. the little critters need to stay away from the candy. So are there any treats that we can give our pets that are oh, maybe Halloween festive? You bet. You can go right online. They, you can actually bake safe Halloween uh, treats for your pets. You can buy the little molds for them. You can make them in bone shape or pumpkin shape. You can use pumpkin even. Now they have recipes for pumpkin for your mm. pets. It's great for fiber. All right. Now, see, I'm glad we got this shot right here. <laughs> Because we always see dogs dressed up for Halloween, and I have yet to see the cat who appeared to be happy it was wearing a costume. Yeah, you know, Hudson here, he's actually a three-legged cat, if you could believe it. He's a really good sport. <laughs> well, he's not um, having a good time. <laughs> he's like, yeah. no. <laughs> They're way harder to dress up than the dogs, but you can get them used to a costume. <laughs> <laughs> he's draped over her like a snake. I so appreciate the effort. That's fantastic. So, again, oh. you, you don't have a problem dressing up your pets. Just be careful, and especially with the materials in them, correct? Right, absolutely. And also your props. Be careful about props because these are real chewable, and dogs can swallow strings and anything that's tied to them. So make sure to keep your props up. A lot of really scary looking things can scare your pets too. Look at this little hand in a jar. Right. I and mean, there's all kinds of cool stuff. So keep it away from your pets. I'm so glad you dressed up the cat. Thank you, Jill. It's always a pleasure. We'll talk to you next time around. If you'd like to schedule an appointment with Dr. Jill or have her come to your place, she's a mobile vet. She can do that as well. Go to her website. It's uh, drjillwithay.com or you can uh, call her up. The number's there on your screen, 916 989 0738. And as long as we're talking about